the matter before us came here during the budget time. And when the Minister of Finance was reading the budget, I want to quote, he said, that the gallant men and women in uniform while reading the budget the, the, the minister said this that we are enhancing the salary of the police officer of our policemen by 25 percent and that the gallant men and women in uniform at the rank of captain and below who are serving updf and in uganda police and in prison and the internal and external in intelligence services, this budget contains the first installment of your enhanced pay. Mr. Speaker, if such a commitment is made to the country, then it, no, it ceases to be a promise and becomes a date. The police have been coming here in 2023, 2024. They were promised a salary increase of 40%. Eventually, it did not come. This time, Mr. Minister, Mr. Speaker, the money was found. But what is lacking is sharing. It is very unreasonable if we get some money. And the top officers who are facilitated in terms of transport, in terms of uh, transport, are uh, again out of greed, don't care about the juniors, and they take the money for themselves, Mr. Speaker. What I want to request to speak, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that this parliament has sat itself and say, what did we what did we pass in this house mr speaker we go back to what we passed here and we seek for its implementation we cannot allow these people to risk the whole country and 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 leave these people to go out with guns without pay this used to happen during Obote's time that a person would be given a gun and then told you to go and look for his salary <laughs> Are you done, Honorable? <laughs> Point of order from Honorable Wakena. Right, Honorable Speaker. It is very perturbing that people try to blame everything Pick all sorts of ideas and claims and attribute it to UPC. There has never been a point where a caring government has told people to take their guns and look for their salary. One of the first things today was an honorable member crying about medicines in Nakaseke Hospital. People don't seem to realize that that hospital was built by the same UPC. If you persist building hospitals all over Uganda and then saying soldiers to go and take the, 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 the right honorable speaker, I would request my honorable colleague to withdraw because it is clearly completely out of order to make such an allegation on this floor of parliament. Is the honorable member in order? Honorable member, are you in order? Right, Honorable Speaker, my intention was not to antagonize uh, the President of UPC, uh, Mr. Akena, Honorable Akena. I do regret uh, the pain my statement has caused him, especially when I was mentioning the times when he used to be a first son and most probably young. But, Mr. Speaker, I said we are told. <laughs> so, I was just 
supporting what I was told. No, you, can, you can grant me the request. And, and, and for, that, for that, I want to, to, to tell my honorable colleague that I was told. But now that you have told me the better version of, that, of what happened during that time, uh, I withdraw that statement. But what I wanted to emphasize, Mr. Speaker, is that when you arm a, a person and you don't pay that person, you are in essence telling that person to use the gun to go and look for survival. Mr. Speaker, allow me in, to show you a WhatsApp that has been sent to me by a, one policeman can you lay the phone on the table? <laughs> yes, I will lay. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, because I'm the shadow minister, a policeman, somebody saying that he's a policeman, sent me this. He said, Honorable shadow minister, please tell parliament that this is how I spend my pay. I earn 466,933 net pay. Exodus chops off 30,000. I remain with a balance of 436,933. This is my expenditure per day. Breakfast, 2,000. Lunch, 3,500. Supper, 3,500. Transport, 4,000. Airtime, 2,000. That is 15 times 30. That is 450, which means that I have to permanently stay alone without children or a wife, but ask, where do I get the medication? Where do I get soap? Where do I get school fees? Where do I get rent? Since I've been even evicted from a self-made structure I constructed in my barracks. That is our pred predicament. And I want Parliament to understand that we are also human beings. We guard you. We guard you. We got the country, we keep law and the order. But how do we keep money in the banks where we don't own any? Mr. Speaker, I don't know if I should lay my, my phone, but this is information from a. I'll take it. Um, right, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the Honorable Member for giving way. Related to exactly that, yesterday, upon a, a prison officer or young. Uh, junior police just prison warder hearing that we had intervened in this matter called me in the morning and said i heard you are in interrogating the sharing of the monies that you allocated to us please get this information one the senior officers who are not meant to be beneficiary have instead taken the lion's share and two the next thing we are planning, and I will not reveal this particular person, the next thing we are we're planning is to go on strike such that the people you have sent us in Luzira can come back and bring you to the same level where you have kept us. Now, this is the information, and to me, I took it very, very serious. That's why I was standing, and in your absolute wisdom, you thought other people would. Uh, the second thing I want to say is that uh, you obey guide on the procedure. I am very uncomfortable allowing the Honorable Bet Nambose to lay that phone on table because apart from... Honorable, it was on a light note. Oh. Yeah, it was.